Hi, Steven here. Welcome back to the Circuit Playground Express online workshop. In this section, we're going to learn about variables. Now, a variable in code is just like a variable in math. It's a placeholder that you can store data in and reference in other parts of the code. Let's take a look at how it looks in MakeCode. So if we open up MakeCode, we'll go to the variables section. Now, when you first open it up, there's no variables there, so we'll need to make a variable. And I'm going to call mine var, just for, just to keep things clear. So now we have a few options here. We can set our variable to a certain number. We can change it, or we can just reference it as if it's a number in this bubble. So we're going to start by setting our variable We'll say setting our variable to one. And then, oh no, we'll set our variable to sound level. So whenever this loop is run through, sound level is stored as the variable var. And then we'll take a light, the light section, we'll grab a graph, and then we'll graph the variable var up to, let's say, 75. So this code here is what I have running on the board, and it's a sound level sensor. And this isn't really the way that you'd use a variable because it's kind of redundant in this case, but just to give you an idea, every time it runs through, we're reading the sound level, we're storing it as variable, and then here we're referencing the variable and graphing it on the lights on the board. And we could then use variable any number of times throughout the pro program and get that, get that sound level that's taken at the, the front of every loop. And this is really necessary for a lot of different functions within, within programming. You use them in every for loop, which we'll go over in the next section. And you, of course, use it for a lot of different math functions within, within code. If you're an educator and you're teaching beginner programmers, you won't get into variables too much unless you use the infrared transmitter and receiver, but it's important to know in case you run into it. So that concludes this section on variables. Stick around. In the next section, we're going to learn about programming logic.